A day of gains for the Indian equity markets with the benchmark Nifty 50 once again trading in a very narrow range of just about 100 points, but it ended with gains of about 0.2%. Once again, a lot of the action taking place in the broader markets, with the broader markets in fact outperforming. Now, after quite a while, you saw the Nifty Bank as a pack outperform the other sectoral indices. And in fact, the Nifty Bank gained over 1%. You had the PSU Banking Pack that was up at one point about 2%, but it ended with gains of just about 1.6% or thereabouts. The other sectors were a little lackluster in trade, the likes of pharma as well as metal losing ground. Now, among the key gainers on the Nifty 50, you have the likes of Hindalco, which was the top gainer. It stayed there through the session on account of quite a bit of capex that was announced as much as 4,000 crore rupees. And that is considered to be a positive for the counter. You have Axis Bank and ICICI Bank that were the top gainers from the banking pack. You have Devi's Laboratories that was also gaining ground and Larsen and Tubro among the top five. Among the losers, you had the Adani uh, companies or the Adani stocks that lost ground today. Remember that they have gained quite a bit of ground over the past few sessions and this could well be a bout of profit booking. But the likes of Adani Enterprises lost over 5% and you have Adani Ports also that lost ground. Uh, Geo Financial Services hit lower circuit once again in trade today and seemingly no respite for this stock. Uh, the sellers in fact building in the system more and more. In fact, uh, over 13 crore uh, bids to sell at this juncture. And it, it, it looks like the stay on the indices is going to get extended. Among the other losers, you had Sun Pharma and Tech Mahindra. Uh, from the broader markets, you had Brightcom Group that also hit a lower circuit. And you probably read about this, the SEBI action on the chief executive officer as well as the CIO of the company. BEML gained about 4% in trade on account of an order win. And you had Linde India. That was also strong in trade, arguably the stock of the day gaining over 6% on a large order win from IOC. All told, we're lacking any overarching trend, a lot of stock specific action and that likely will continue to be the case.